these are katrinkles. Sorry about that. You see them in the store. We sell them. They talk about, they're sort of, um, when I was growing up, we had something called crib notes. I don't, I think now they're called spark notes. So this is kind of spark notes or crib notes for knitting. And so these little tiles talk of, you know, have directions or talk about like wrap and turn and gauge and brioche and tubular cast on. But today we're going to talk about wraps per inch. So I have a yarn. I was, I'm working on some hats and I went digging through my stash to try to use up my collection rather to try to use up some yarn. And I got this yarn and it claims that this is a worsted yarn. And I just looked at the label and it said worsted yarn. So I grabbed it and I grabbed some Encore because these are the colors I need. And when I look at the yarn next to each other, it is very clear that they are different weight yarns. Now I'm not sure that's something you can see on the video, but I very clearly was like, Andy, these aren't the same weight. And Andy said, go grab a Katrinkle's wrap and turn, a wrap per inch. So I said, okay. So this little thing looks like this, this space, is a one inch space and it says wraps per inch and then it tells you how many times you should be able to wrap your yarn around and it will say for bulky it's five to six super bulky five to six bulky seven Aaron eight worsted nine so I did the only thing a smart yarn employee would do and I did my wraps. One, I don't know how to do this backwards. Let me try it this way, gang. One, two. Now you don't want to like do this, right? You want them next to each other. One, and I'm not pulling the yarn over tight or stretching it. So that was three, four. I hope this isn't boring. Five, six, seven. Oops, I'm making too much space. Hold on. Eight. I'm only going to go to nine because if it's a worsted yarn, it should be nine wraps per inch. This is nine wraps per three quarters of an inch. So when I continue wrapping, that was 10, 11. This really comes out as a sport weight yarn, which in doing a hat, my sport weight yarn to my true worsted yarn, and this is the brim, I'm not going to like it. So, though I thought it was really fun to try to dig something out that I had been hanging around in my collection at home, I'm going to be heading to the back, to the Encore, and I'm going to be buying myself a skein of worsted weight yarn. And I'm trying to unwrap this really quick so I can show you guys the difference. So here's the, oops, here's the worsted weight yarn. And again, I'm doing it backwards, but again, you don't want to yank on your yarn. I could pull my yarn and make this a thinner weight. You want your yarn to be what your yarn is. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look at that, nine. Nine wraps, here's a worsted weight yarn. Great little fun tool. We have all these tools, a tubular cast on. We'll do make one left, make one right. I use that all the time. We can, um, we have a couple of gauge ones. We have wrap and turn. We have the um, German, short rows. German short rows. We have a Kitchener stitch. Sold a bunch of those um, during, you know, as you guys are doing um, sock club. That's 